Hi, this is Maya with Rico. This video is about the simple file upload feature in Relativity. As you can see here, you can upload single files or up to 100 files by selecting the new upload, the new document button here at the top right hand corner. You'll find this in your folders, your field tree, or in your clusters. Here's an example of what the button looks like when I have both a transcript application installed and I've resized my browser window. You just select New Document. You can click and drag or select Browse for Files to find the files you want to upload in the database. Here I'll just click and drag a few documents that I'd like to upload. Now this upload is going to be ideal for few documents that you maybe want to have in the database but aren't going to be producing, or a few e-documents that you might be producing but the metadata isn't relevant or doesn't matter. For instance, if you have a small set of documents that you've scanned or some PDFs um, that you've maybe received from an incoming production that doesn't have metadata with it. You can rename your Files. You can see here it just imports based on the file name of the document. I like to personally remove the extension, but what you put here is up to you. You can also number them sequentially by manually typing the number in this space. When you select the upload button, it's going to crawl through your documents and it's going to upload the files for you. When the upload is successful, you get the message, your files have been uploaded, and each item has a checkbox next to it when it's available in the database. I'll close this dialog, and as soon as Relativity refreshes, you can see that our new documents are now available in the database. A data set that this would not be very appropriate for are any documents such as emails that might have attachments, Anything that you might need metadata for, including something beyond what fields you see here, including your group identifier or your beg attach, your family fields. The fields that it will provide are the folder name, which is automatically updated in Relativity when a document is loaded to a specific folder. It's going to be the root folder name. You've got your file size. We get Relativity native type. We get the file name. We also get extracted text, which isn't in this view, but it is available within the document. And then the remaining fields here that you see the system generated fields to tell you when a document was uploaded and by whom. Here, if we log into this document, you can see the extracted text is extracted for any document with extracted text. If, for instance, you had a PDF that was a scanned document that didn't have OCR, you wouldn't have any text here in which case you could create TIFF images and you could OCR within Relativity. So that's the real quick and dirty for which documents you should upload and when you should upload them. You can see I used just some production specs I wanted to maintain. Here's a pleading. And we have some other documents that are just basic eDocs loaded to a folder for quick and easy reference. Thanks for joining me today. Happy reviewing.